Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm gonna to be taking you through how to use Google's new icon library, Google Material Symbols. Now, if you've used the Google Material Icons library in the past, a lot of the stuff in today's video is gonna be familiar to you. And if you've never used an icon library before on a website, trust me, you're gonna to wanna to stick around and watch today's video because it's actually really easy to get an icon library like this up and running on your own website or project okay so I'm gonna be leaving a link to this website right here down below so you can go through it as I talk through this icon library now as we can see here there are many icons to choose from so I'm gonna jump right into how to install this icon on your website all right so I've got this index HTML document right here with nothing inside the body and practically nothing inside the head aside from some metadata and a title. So how do we go about installing these icons? Well, going back onto this website right here, you're gonna to want to begin by choosing an icon. So let's just say as an example, you want to use uh, the delete icon on your website. You would simply click on that icon and on the right side here, you're gonna have a couple of options when it comes to installing this icon library. You can either choose to use the variable icon font or down below the static icon font. So I'm gonna be taking you through both of these methods in today's video, but first I wanna show you the static icon font, okay? So we can see here, it's gonna be a link tag and you need to simply copy this and paste it inside the head of your document. And once you've done that, you can then go ahead and start using the icons. So I'll just paste this right here and now we can begin using them, okay. I wanna stop right here and just talk about the customization options you have for this icon library, okay. So going up here, we can see you have either outlined, rounded, or sharp, and that's going to change what these icons look like, and that right there is their overall style, okay? You've also got these further customization options, such as a fill, um, uh, the weight, grade, and optical size. Now, the reason why I mention these customization options is because, of course, I want you guys to use them if you like them, but also, if we inspect the link, we can see that that customization is actually inside the URL. As we can see, we can, uh, we can see here it says family equals material symbols outlined. So that right there is your initial icon style, okay? Then you've got things like the optical size, the weight, fill and grade at 48, 400, zero and zero. So all of those properties are inside your URL, which means whenever you use your icons, uh, they're going to uh, you know, have those properties. Okay, so speaking of using the icons, if we go back in the browser and click back on the delete, I might just reset the uh, customization options. There we go. So if I click on the delete, we can now see, to actually render that icon, we can copy this span right on the bottom here, okay? I might just zoom in a little bit, if I can, without losing it, there we go. So inserting the icon, I can copy this and paste it inside my body, just like that. I'll just make it a little bit neater. All right, save this. I'll now go inside the browser, refresh my HTML page, and we get the icon right there. So it is that easy to install this icon library. The first line's the install, and the second line is to simply use those icons. And you can also see that the class being used here is material symbols outlined. If you chose a different icon style, then of course this right here is going to change. Okay. So that is the static icon font installation. What about the variable icon font? Okay, let's try that one instead. So I'll copy this link tag now, go back in index HTML and just paste that inside the head. Now we can see we still have the material symbols outlined. So that initial style is still there. But if I was to uh, go inside this section now, we can see that we don't actually have that information like we did earlier. Instead, we need to provide that customization info as part of a style tag down below, okay? 
let's just uh, close this and make my fill one and increase the weight to be 600, okay? I'll click on the delete icon once again, then scroll down and simply copy this style. And as you can see, that data is inside these settings. Go back in the uh, index HTML and just paste that inside here, just like that, okay? So we have all of the icon settings inside this style tag. So now if I go back in the browser, refresh, we get that filled icon, okay? Now, what are the benefits of using the variable icon font? Because they both give you the exact same result. The main two benefits I see is that number one, you don't need to update your URL. If you decide to change your customization options, you simply update your CSS. And the second thing is, well, this is actually animatable. So let's say as an example, I want to say something like icon, let's just say uh, dash hover. Okay, so any icon with the uh, icon dash hover class, I wanna make it so when they get hovered over, I want the weight to decrease, okay? Let's target the class of icon hover, then say colon hover, just like that. Then I'll say, okay, cool, I've got this uh, hover uh, pseudo, uh, pseudo class. I'll just paste that inside there and then simply change the weights to be something like uh, 200 instead, okay? Let's just save this and go back in the browser and refresh and we get something like this. So the weight has been changed, but also I can say something like uh, icon hover and I'll just say, look, whenever the font variation settings property changes, I want it to take 0.25 seconds, giving us that transition or animation. I'll say here, transition, then I'll say font variation settings at 0.25 seconds, press save, and then go back in the browser here, refresh, and we get something like that. So that right there is what I see are the main two benefits of using the variable icon font over the static icon font. But of course, that is totally up to you because Google provides you with those two options. Okay. I'm also gonna be leaving you with the material symbols guide in the description down below. If you want more information about using the icons, as you can see here, there's uh, information about using them, you can uh, look at some key frames they've provided, uh, some different ways to you know, style them, different sizes and so on. So I'll leave this link right here down below for you to check out. And that is all for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.